In this video, we're doing the limit comparison test. The limit comparison test says, uh, let the series A of K and B of K be series with positive terms. And suppose that rho is the limit as K approaches infinity of A of K divided by B of K. Notice that this is end behavior. And so we can use high, low, low, high, same, same, which is why we like this test especially compared to the comparison test. Uh, it says if rho is finite and rho is greater than zero, then the series either both converge or both diverge. So it's pretty easy to get the both converge or diverge, and then you simply have to compare what's going on. So let's take a look at this first one. We've got uh, the series approaching infinity of root n over n squared plus 1. Well, you kind of have to do a little hand-waving here. Uh, we're going to compare the given one with the series root n over n squared. So we're going to drop the plus 1, and you can generally drop the plus 1. Now, if we simplify this by bringing the root n to the bottom of the fraction, we get 1 over n to the 3 halves. Well, that is the convergent p-series. It's a hyperharmonic. So we believe it's going to converge. So if we can prove that rho is greater than 0, then we know that both of these things converge. So let's see what we can do. So we're going to take rho is the limit as n approaches infinity. And we're going to have root n over n squared plus 1 divided by what we're comparing it to, which is root n over n squared. Well, so we can go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal, root n over n squared plus 1 times n squared over root n. The root n's will cross out. So now we've got rho is the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared over n squared plus 1. Well, that's the same same. So we're going to get an answer of 1. 1 is indeed greater than 0, so they're both going to behave the same way. So this thing converges. Let's try one more. So this series is n times 2 to the n over 4n cubed plus 1. Well, so let's think about how we can compare this one. We're going to try comparing this one to 2 to the n over uh, n squared. Now, if you think about that, uh, if we reduce the n with the n cubed, we get an n squared on the bottom. We can ignore the plus 1 and the coefficient, the, the 4, we could bump outside if we really wanted to. So that's why we can compare it to this problem. So now let's go ahead and set that up. Rho is the limit as n approaches infinity. Uh, we've got n to the 2n plus 1, or 2n, or 4n cubed plus 1 over what we're comparing it to, which is 2 to the n over n squared. So let's go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal. So n to the n, 4n cubed plus 1 times n squared over 2 to the n. Well, the 2 to the n's are going to cross out. So now we've got rho is the limit as n approaches infinity. On the top now, we have an n cubed. On the bottom, we have a 4n cubed plus 1. Again, we have a same same, which gives us a 1 fourth. 1 fourth is greater than 0. So they're both going to behave the same way. So now let's go back to what we're comparing to. If we think about 2 to the n over n squared, as we go to infinity, that thing's going to diverge. It's going to get larger and larger and larger. So therefore, they both diverge.